If you have a Mazda 3 with a single disc CD player in it and you find that your discs are getting stuck, it might be a pretty simple fix. Uh, I've already disassembled most of this. You have to take the head unit out of the car and then take the actual CD player mechanism out of the head unit. And I think it has, yeah, it has four screws and it's held in with a little ribbon cable. But you get this off and I already disassembled this. You have a few pieces you have to take off. Like I said, I've already disassembled this, but... Problem is that this so focus this rubber roller that takes in and pushes out the CD gets kind of dirty and loses its grip over time. So I'm going to clean mine with some denatured alcohol and that should fix it. Actually, after cleaning it off, what I'm finding also is that this rubber roller is on a metal axle and it should be moving with the axle. I'm putting pressure on it there and it's moving with the axle, but it looks like it's loosened up over time, so it actually is fairly loose on that axle. So what also I'm going to do, and I think this is probably the, the more overlying problem, uh, is that this is so loose, uh, I'm going to put some, try to bond that to the that metal axle, and I think that should take care of it. I'll use some gel type super glue, and now it's not slipping anymore. It's turning the axle even with the slightest touch. So I'll get it back together. As it turns out, the super glue was not enough to keep that rubber from moving independently of the axle. So what I ended up doing was I got a syringe and filled it with, this is just contact cement, and pushed back the rubber and injected contact cement into the first, it's probably about a half inch needle. Um, so I'm gonna let that set up, I did it on both sides. And then I also injected, I didn't inject, but I put some contact cement on the inside of this gear where it uh, meets the axle because I don't think it was spinning independently of that gear, but just to be safe, I put some in there as well. So I'm gonna let it set up and see how it does. Well, I've got this thing back together now and I figured I'd point this out because I didn't do any video of the disassembly of this thing, but I think I showed two pieces that I just pulled off that I already taken the screws out before. Uh, this piece right here, this is the topmost piece that comes out first. It's only held together with two screws, one right there and one right there. And then this piece, this is held on with two screws as well, down there, and a spring that you just have to unhook the spring from this post here. And it's the same thing on this side. You can see the spring and then the screw. So that's all back together. And then getting the CD mechanism out of the head unit itself is fairly simple. I've already got it back in, but you only have four screws, one on either side, and then two on the front at either end. So I've got this thing fully assembled now, minus uh, a few screws, but I just wanted to point out, um, pull this off. To get into here, um, you have this bezel that kind of, uh, well, it lets you bolt the head unit into the dashboard, but this comes off with two screws uh, on either side, and it just slides forward. And then to get the top off, there are only two screws on either end, and this flips up. I uh, just wanted to point that out. I've got this thing all screwed on, at least on one side now. And just to get that faceplate off, you have two screws on either side up top. I've done that one. There's where the other screw goes. Uh, two at the bottom. There. And 
there. And then two small ones on the side here, one right there and one right there. I've given the contact cement about 12 hours to set up, so see if we're able to uh, listen to some good Christian music. Now before it wouldn't even take the CD in. That works. And here's the bigger problem. Okay. That did it.